huge warning. Don't trust this company. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, walking on this amazing beach here in Phuket, Thailand, talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. In today's video, I'm going to warn you for a very, very, very dangerous company that is scamming a lot of people. Also taking a look at all the Bitcoin charts, of course. And yes, an inspirational quote and maybe even something else. Thank you for all the tips you gave me yesterday down below the video about what I should include in the video. I'm going to analyze all the tips. I'm going to choose one of those subjects and I'm going to integrate it in the video from tomorrow or something like that, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into the news first where I share a company that is scamming a shitload of people. Please be warned. There is a company called nexatradex.ltd. That's also their website, nexatradex.ltd. These people have been scamming a shitload of people out of my name. They have been contacting, direct messaging people from all my groups, also my Twitter followers, my Instagram followers, all of those people, direct messaging them, asking them to invest in nexatradex.ltd uh, to make some uh, massive gains, guys. They are promising massive gains. Now, a lot of people deposited funds. While I always say down below all my videos, please, do never send funds to me. I will never ask you to send funds because we have a complete different setup. We have only one algorithm and algorithm is trading on your account. You will never need to move the funds out of your account to my account. Always keep them in your account. That's how we solve it as the Bitcoin family in a very fair, honest and decentralized way. Nexa Tradex is asking you guys to send funds to them. That can never be me. Now the latest victim Please don't be shocked. The latest victim sent over 200,000 US dollar to Nexa Tradex. And you know why? Because they have been chatting with me since May. I have never spoken to those people before. They have been chatting with me from May is what they thought. They were chatting with a Telegram account and had exactly the same name like me, Didi Tayutu, and even was verified but the username, you can see the account name, was not the right one. It was DD underscore Taihutu. And they thought they were in contact with me, even realizing it was not like perfectly Dutch English that they were speaking, they still believed them. They deposited over 200,000 euros, dollars, guys. And you know what the worst part of the situation is, guys? That he spent his last money on this scammer, guys. This guy, near his pension, thought he could use this money to double up, quadruple his pension. These people are now in problems. These people now even need to end the rent of their houses. They can't stay there anymore. They can't pay it anymore because they are completely almost bankrupt now. So it's terrible to see that these things are still happening in his industry and also way more terrible that they are happening because of people believe it's me that I sent I requested him to send funds I will keep repeating it I will never never ever 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 ask anyone to send me funds the only things we sell are on our Bitcoin family website the bitcoinfamily.com or yolofamilytravel.com it's an old website those products we sell I don't know what to do with these people I had a zoom call with them because I you know I really helped them. I, I told them to go to the police. I told them all the steps they should be taking, you know, searching who's the website the owner, who's the telephone number owner that they that be calling them, etc. And uh, hopefully they get out of this. But you know, that money is gone. 200k lifetime savings gone in a split of a second because they trust these fucking scammers in this industry. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we need to set up some kind of. Uh, I, uh, how about crowdfunding fund or whatever it is to help these people so they can still stay in their house and don't need to move out etc but I don't know if I'm responsible for that but it does feel like shit to me as well that my name is being used out there sometimes I'm like maybe I should stop all the social media that people don't use my name anymore to scam people because I believe that if I just quickly recap the DMs I've received in uh, this first half year of 2024, I think the scam amount would be now 
almost around a million dollars or something of people that have been scammed. And I just, I just feel very sad for all those people. And I just hate, I just fucking hate these scammers. I just hate what they are doing. We should all expose these scammers, just hang them somewhere like in a marketplace so that we can like throw rocks, tomatoes, whatever we want at them, like 24 seven, the rest of their life. Something like that. Well, that was the news for the day. Please be warned. Nexatradex.ltd, the website is a scam. That is not me. I am completely, completely not connected to any of these websites. Please don't trust these people telling you in a DM, hey, it's Didi. It's not me. I am not DMing anyone aside of my family and friends, of course. Now, that was the news for the day. Let's quickly jump into the charts to see what is happening to Bitcoin today and uh, what I expect for the next coming weeks. Yes, charts and some coffee time, guys. Yes, in Bitcoin, we trust. And even the Bitcoin spoon. Um, we are starting today with a four hour chart. Mm. And a sip of coffee, of course. On this four hour chart, we can see clearly that Bitcoin did not break that yellow line, go up, what I expected. We found resistance, so we are coming down again. We could even fall to this green line of support over there, which is around uh, 62,000 US dollar. Um, if you fall that, I believe we could uh, go again up to try and break that level. It's amazing to see that that Bollinger Band is really um, compressing at the moment and after a compressed Bollinger Band there is always a huge breakout. So let's see what will happen. It's a Thursday, so Friday is mostly volatile week in the head, so or we dip and then pump or we pump. I believe we will pump, but that's all short term guys and short term I will leave over to my algorithm. Um, our algorithm is trading at the moment about 3.5% a month, doing a great job making a shitload of profits. I'm sharing the results all in my VIP membership group. I will also share them in my video soon. Um, beautiful trades at that algorithm. And of course, this indicator setup you can use to trade. You know, this sell signal over there, we saw the blue line crossing the white line. The red line was on top and there was yellow and beach. Um, so yes, we could take that sell signal or short, whatever you'd call it, until we reach a buy signal again or until we see a return of that blue line from that red line of that green areas instead of the yellow and blue ones. Now that's short term. Five day chart, I will keep repeating this chart with the Gaussian channel because we see that candle opened above the Gaussian channel, but in 21 hours, this candle is gonna close. It should be closing also above that Gaussian channel. If we don't close above this Gaussian channel, that is bearish. Why? Because then we have a large wick to the top a candle still in that Gaussian channel. That means this will act again a little bit more as quicksand and pull us back maybe even to the midline again at 555K if we are going bearish. But if I add another indicator to this five day chart, every candle is five days, just please understand that. If I add the down below part, the MACD part to this chart, then check what we see that is happening now. We can see every time when we go from um, red here to green, for example, over there, we see this massive pump. It's a massive pump from 90K to 25K. From red to green over there, for example, that is a massive pump. That's a pump from 25K all the way to 60K. So these pumps are very important. Here from red to green, switching, massive pump. Look, it starts over there, pump, bam huge pumps now what do we see at the moment on the chart we can go back way back guys if you want and um, we can go back all the way till here look there this is again from red to green on the five day chart massive pump here red to green on the five day chart massive pump we can go back as far as you want at the moment the thing that we are seeing is if this candle closes above that gaussian channel this will be a green bar, the first green bar. There will be a crossover on the MACD. As you can see over there, that blue line will be crossing that red line. That will mean a going into a massive pump. And that is what I expect. That's why I told you guys, 85K very soon. We will bounce off these levels. We will see green hills again. The blue line will be above the red line. This will be above the Gaussian channel. And then we will see that massive pump to 85K. If not, pull back back to 55K. But let's not hope for that. Let's hope for that massive 
pumped, guys. Now, let's jump into some more amazing charts that I have in line for you. And now I can realize that my face again was a little bit in the, the wrong place, but now you can see it again, that green bar there is appearing already. The candle is gonna close in 21 hours. Let's see tomorrow if that is a green candle uh, above the Gaussian channel and if the bar turned green. Sorry for my face being in the wrong place, but now you had one minute of time to check it again. So pause the video if you want to check it a little bit more, guys. Now, let's jump into those other charts. Those other charts are these ones over there. This is the first one. This is showing you the active supply in the last 180 days. The active supply in the 180 days means these are mostly the wills that are taking the Bitcoins again off the exchanges. So you can see when the supply is less active, like we see over here, you're taking down the Bitcoins from the exchanges. And I said wills, I mean like all of the Bitcoiners, of course. Sorry for that, but it just shows you that every time when they, we see these tops, that is when a lot of Bitcoins are active, so they are being placed on the exchanges so that they can be tradable um, or traded. But when you are taking off the exchanges, we see these drops in these lines. So that is what's happening now. Now the Bitcoins are being taken off the exchanges. Why? because they also expect that massive pump. They are taking their Bitcoins into their HODL portfolio, into their hardware wallets or software wallets, whatever wallet it is that is not connected to an exchange. That is what we see. And mostly when we see that, just go back and check the prices. The prices of Bitcoin go the opposite side, they go up. So beautiful to see the active supply one on daily days chart. Then we have a very cool chart with almost the reggae colors, the Bitcoin price and the power law support. You know that I also support the power law support because I believe that the power law support is supporting the Bitcoin price. Um, let's see, we are now in the bear market is this red area. Then we get the first part of the bull market, that's that orange area. Then we get that second part of the bull market, that's where we are now, that's that yellow area. And then we get that third part of the bull market that should be that green area. And that will lead all the way till the end of 2025. 2026, believe it or not, will again be a bear market. Now, every time, check what happened in that yellow and green area. That is the moment you need to be in Bitcoin. That is the moment Bitcoin prices are increasing tremendously. Here, yellow and green area in Bitcoin. That is the moment you need to be in Bitcoin. Yellow and green area, you need to be in Bitcoin. Yellow, we are there now, and green, next year, you need to be in Bitcoin. You will be doubling your capital now if you invest in Bitcoin. That's my honest opinion. We will go to 120 to 160,000 US dollar in this green box. And then, yes, we will see a crash in that orange or the red box again. And that crash will probably be to that line and that line will probably be around 60 to 70,000 US dollar, I expect. So we could crash back to 60K, maybe even a week to 50K. Who gives a fuck? It doesn't even matter. You just need to buy Bitcoin now, take your profits there, buy Bitcoin there. Not the exact top, not the exact bottom. We will buy and sell near the top and buy back near the bottom. That's enough to make a shitload of profits in the next four years, eight years, even 12 years. I don't know if I'm still there making videos at that time. Uh, and my face again was on the wrong place. I need an assistant. I need an assistant. <laughs> now it's on the correct place. So yes, if you want to pause the video and analyze that chart a little bit more, then please do so. Now, let me check if I have another beautiful chart for you guys. I have another beautiful chart. It is this one over here. And now I will put my face on the right place. Yes, I need to get into this again. This is the most important chart for the people like me that like to zoom out in Bitcoin. This is the Bitcoin yearly candles. Every candle represents one year of Bitcoin movements. Now, just simplify it. Let's look to the left. 1,517%. Three green candles. Bear market was 2014. That's a red candle. Then we get three green candles. 2017 was that bull market all the way up to 20K. Then we get again one red candle. That's 2018, that's the bear market. Do you see what I'm saying? Three green, one red. Three green, one red. Then again, we got three green candles. That was the latest bull market in 2021. And it was followed up by a red candle. Yes, 
There was the bear market in 2022. And now again, in 2023, we had a green candle. 156% profits already that we made since 15K. Now 2024, green candle. It's going to be a beautiful green candle. Then we get 2025, again a green candle. And then 2026 will be a red candle. Just simplify it. Three greens, one red. Three greens, one red. Three greens, one red. Three greens, and then again a one red. We will sell next year in that green candle 2025. We will be buying back in that red candle 2026 or in the beginning of 2027. That's how simple it works, guys. That's what I mean by running the four-year cycles. Just understand that it's every time the same cycles. Yes, we have diminishing returns because the first cycle we had almost 9,000%. And then the second cycle, we had only 1,500%. And then the third cycle, we had only 500% over there. And maybe this cycle now, we will only have like 300%. It's all possible. But still, 300% will lead to a beautiful return of almost more than 120,000 US dollars, in my opinion, guys. Now, that was the last chart for today. Let's jump into the next part of the video. I hope you really enjoyed all of these charts, guys. I hope the noise of these waves is not like too bad, but still walking on a almost empty beach. It's now eight o'clock or something in the morning. So maybe you need to go a little bit later as this, or maybe it's just not like busy yet. It's like September, October are still like not low season months in Thailand, guys. But I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Short term, yes, beautiful trading opportunities over there again. 62, I think, being uh, the support level. Long term, still on track, guys, still on track. I love the reggae colored chart, you know, the beautiful power law because we are finding support in that, we are bouncing of it, and we will be creating new all-time highs in 2024. And also, yes, a bull market top in 2025. Like I always say, guys, don't freak out too much about the minute changes in the chart or the five minute charts. Don't zoom in on those charts. Don't look through these short time frames. When it comes to Bitcoin, you need to zoom out. You need to look at that bigger picture, that four year cycle, just treat Bitcoin as the gold of the 21st century that's protecting your capital against inflation in the long term. Every four years, your capital will be growing higher and higher and higher. Don't zoom in too much when it comes to charts. You need to zoom in in life. Enjoy every little single minute of the day. That's where you need to focus on. Freaking out about your life needs to be very beautiful, guys. Now let's jump into the next part of the video, a trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, is take a look at the project Papu Ninja. Papu Ninja is a very interesting slice to earn, slice, slice to earn project on the Torn blockchain. It's going to be a mini Telegram gaming app that everyone can use. At the moment, I already told you about this one, like I think a month ago, at the moment already 400,000 users signed up. And why are all these people signing up? Because you can claim free airdrop, free tokens by already doing some tasks. So if you perform these tasks, just like those other 400,000 people would have been, have been performing these tasks, you can earn a shitload of free tokens that will be airdropped to you when they go live. That is why this community is growing really, really fast. Already 400,000 subscribers, guys. Yes, I am one of the subscribers. Yes, I have been doing some tasks. You can do some tweets, you can do some likes, you can claim your daily airdrop, etc., etc., etc. Why would you leave this free money behind? Beside of that, the game is going to be really cool, interactive. The character of the game, Papu Ninja, is a really cool character. Check their YouTube, check their Twitter. They are making really funny content, revolution-style content. Just like my revolution passion for Bitcoin, they are promoting that same revolution, guys. So the revolution of decentralizing the world with some kind of games and money and slicing all kinds of stuff. Please check them out. You can even now get, I think, 100,000 free tokens if you go to the link and sign up to, for, to one of the exchanges that it will be listed on. A really cool game with a lot of possibilities. Check that one, Papo Ninja. The website is papo.whatthefuck. And that is WTF, not the complete what the fuck. Papo.wtf. To answer a question of one of the followers today, 
how to solve tax on crypto. That question is being asked a lot of times to me. Didi, how do I solve tax and crypto? It's very simple. You need to do two things that are very important. The first thing that you need to do is you need to realize the difference between capital and the difference between income. There's a huge difference. Capital gains are not taxed everywhere, guys. Your income gains are taxed here and there. You need to make sure that these are separated. So your capital should be somewhere in the country where you don't pay tax on capital gains. Your income should be also in a country where you don't pay tax on your income. So the easiest setup for this is capital gains, for example, in Portugal or in Germany. If you hold all your Bitcoins in those countries longer than a year, you don't pay any capital gain tax on it. Of course, there's other options as well, like El Salvador, Switzerland, and I think a few more. I will make a separate video on that, but you don't pay capital gain tax. Even in the Netherlands, the capital gain tax is not that much. It's like 1.3 or 1.6 percent, but they are voting to make it higher. Now, that is what you do for your capital. If you have an income stream, income like YouTubing, vlogging, or whatever it is, you know, affiliate links that I'm doing, use my links down below the video. If you have an income from that, you need to receive that income in a different country, a country where you don't pay tax on income not earned in that country. And there is many setups for that. We have Panama, we have the Seychelles, we have Dubai, we have... There are so many countries where you don't need to pay tax on your income as well. I, I mean, of course, income, profits, whatever it is, uh, that is a gain out of your doing business. All of those gains shouldn't be, shouldn't be taxed if you do it right away. Uh, for example, a Seychelles company is a company that you can set up for all the revenue you make. You pay 0% tax on that revenue on the, in the Seychelles. Uh, and the Seychelles company is also, of course, allowed to hold a Bitcoin wallet as a bank account. So you don't have a bank account, you have a Bitcoin wallet where you receive your income on. And then you don't pay tax, like 0% tax in the Seychelles. So there's many ways to set it up, guys. But I believe that the most important thing is that you understand the difference between your capital and your income. That is what you need to understand first. What is your capital? How am I taxed on that? What is your income? How am I taxed on that? And then we go and take it to the next level and choose the right setup. There is a company down below in the links that can help you with all of this. And it's not expensive, believe me. They are very good, they are cheap, they do what they say, they say what they do, and they've done it for a lot of crypto people. The company's name is Corporatio. You will see the link down below. If you use my link, you will get a small discount on their services. Of course, the Zoom call is for free, so they will educate you already through that Zoom call. But that is how you find out how to properly store your capital and your income in those countries where you don't pay tax. So that's how you live tax-free, guys. And aside of that, if you keep traveling less than 180 days in a country, it will also be very difficult to tax you, as the law of most countries is, if you stay longer than 180 days, you need to be paying tax in the country. If you stay less than 180 days, you are not obliged to pay tax in that country. So many setups, but use the link down below to schedule your Zoom call and be educated, guys. Now, that was an extra section, this video. The last part of the video, guys, is the inspirational quote. I'm turning around to that side, guys. Um, the inspirational quote for today is a very interesting quote because I would do everything in my life to avoid that situation. And probably you should do that as well. The inspirational quote for today is, you never know how strong you are until the moment being strong is the only choice you have. Always that is the way it happens. You want to change, but you're not strong enough to change. And then there will be a moment that that's the only option left to change. We always wait for that latest moment until that moment that we can't choose any different direction anymore. Why would we do that? If we know that it is gonna happen ultimately, maybe we should already do it now because we know that we long for it, that we want it. Why do we always wait to be strong until we can't have any other option anymore? Why do we always wait to that latest moment? We never know how strong we are until being strong is the last choice we have. Why do we wait till that? 
Why do we always wait to being strong as the last choice we have? Why don't we just choose to be strong now, handle the situation now, handle our problems now, meet those new people now, start to travel now, start your new sports, passion now, start to vlog, blog, work, whatever it is now. Why don't we do it now? Why do we wait until we will be forced because there is no other option possible? You never will know how strong you are until the moment that being strong is the only option left. We always let it come to that last moment. I just don't understand this. Of course, I did exactly the same. You know, I want to travel already all my life. My wife also want to travel all her life. And we waited till when? Not till when my mother died. Nah, I could still handle that with uh, becoming a workaholic. But until the moment my father died and showed me shit, life can go really fast. I lost two parents. I rebounded after losing the first one. Now I lost the second one. The first one only got 48 years to live. The second one only 61 years to live. What the fuck am I doing with my life? That was my wake up call. That was my last moment of being forced into doing what I really loved. Traveling, enjoying life to the fullest. Not sitting in an office, not running the hamster wheel, not being a taxi driver for whoever was in my family at that moment. No, living life to the fullest. That is how I found out how strong I really was. I found out I was strong enough to change not only my life, but also the life of my wife and all my kids. <laughs> only three, by the way. Four if you think there's more kids, only three. But that's the moment I realized how strong I was. I wanted all those things. I dreamt about all those things, but I was never strong enough to take that first step. But after losing my parents, especially the second one, again at a young age, that is when I became strong enough to realize I could do it. I just changed. So, the inspirational quote for today, guys, is a very important one. You will never know how strong you are until being strong is the last option you have. Please don't let it come to that point, to being your last option. Do it now, because you already can do it now, because you're already strong enough now to do it. You don't need all the drama. You don't all need all the negative shit. You don't need, like, for, for example, losing your job, whatever it is, to change. You can change already now. You just need to grab life by the balls and take your ass to the direction that you want to go. Just do it. Don't doubt, zoom out and do it. You can always crawl back into your safe environment after you didn't succeed. I do think the chance that you don't succeed is this small because most people do succeed. But if it would be you that doesn't succeed, you can always crawl back into that safe environment, safe situation where you find yourself a new job, etc., and build up your life like you did when you came from school, guys. So that was the inspirational quote for today. I hope you really enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you thought about the video. If you did like it, then please give it already a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about everything else that I talked about? Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing Thursday and see you tomorrow on Friday again. Bam.